Hey guys, it's Via from Via Creates, and today we are going to be completing my August bullet journal spread, which is Baby Yoda themed. So here is the full spread for reference. If you'd like to know the materials that I used, I'll be writing them down in the description below, as well as mentioning them as the video goes on. If you haven't been following my channel for very long, this is actually my fourth Star Wars bullet journal theme which means that it's the last one in this series. So I am a little bit sad to see it go, but I am excited to start the next one, which will begin in September. I'm just now beginning with marking the measurements of my bullet journal page so that I can draw a Mandalorian helmet on this black cardstock. I'm just using these stencils as a ruler to draw reference lines for where I want the helmet to go, making sure that I stay within the bounds of the paper. So first I'm drawing the lines to measure the full page and then I'm drawing lines in a smaller area for where I want the size of the helmet to be. Off the camera I sketched out the helmet just using a very minimal design and now I'm using a white gel pen to draw over the outline. The key to making this look good is to really keep your lines clean and simple and I actually like that this is not too detailed of a drawing because I think it makes it a much bolder statement. I also added some little hash lines along the sides to give the illusion of there being kind of shadowing as well as burnished metal. As you can see, the last thing I did was fill in some of the spaces with a silver paint pen and then I cut out the helmet to glue into my bullet journal. Since cardstock is such a thick type of paper, I did need to cut the helmet along where I would put it in the middle of the page so that when I folded my bullet journal, it wouldn't mess up the drawing nor would it make my bullet journal too hard to close. Now the next step was to sketch Baby Yoda out in pencil, which I just used an image from the actual show as a reference, and then I'm using a black felt tipped pen to outline all of the major lines. Now we are going to go over this in watercolor, so I am definitely using a pen that is watercolor safe, it's not going to run, but I would recommend checking your pen on a different piece of paper first before you try this. I like to mix my own colors and I already had a couple on my palette that I had mixed for another project that seemed to work well to create the Baby Yoda green. So I actually just ended mixing up those two colors together with some water and I diluted it well at the beginning so that I could get down a nice soft base layer that I can build up on. As you can see, even though I'm putting out a lot of watercolor on top of the pen, it's not running at all or mudding up my colors, which is super helpful. If you don't have a pen that is waterproof like this one, you can always draw the lines in later or opt to not use any sort of black line, whichever works for you best. After the base coat has been established, as you can see now, I'm using the same color and just doing more and more layers on top to build on these shadows and to leave space open for the highlights. After adding all the green, I also added in a little bit of pink for some of the more blushy areas and I just used black for the eyes. For his little outfit, I decided to use a nice light fawn colored brown and I went in a little bit darker with the collar because I knew I wanted that to be the darkest part of his outfit. For the rest of it, I already went in with a much more diluted version of that same color and then used my darker version to go over some of the folds in the clothing to add more depth and shadow. Since it'd be a little creepy to leave his eyes just black, I'm using my white gel pen to create a highlight. So at first I just drew in basically where I wanted to go and through a process of drawing and then smudging out the gel ink, I was able to create a nice highlight which then I used the white gel pen once more to draw little dots on it. Because the spread was looking a little bit bare and I tend to go for more maximalist spreads, I'm using a Tombow brush pen to add a little bit of a light green shadow to the side of the Mandalorian helmet. I brought out my green gel pen to then outline the shadow and also draw kind of 
burst or rays coming from the side of the helmet on the right page of my bullet journal spread. The next thing I did was to use my brush pen again to fill in every other group of the sunburst. However, I did miss a couple, so the pattern is a bit off, but that's okay. I also added horizontal lines to the shadow using my green gel pen, and then it was time to move on to the title. I'm using a gold paint pen and following a Star Wars font to write the title of the month, which is August. So sometimes I do pencil these out beforehand, but since I've done this spread so many times, I've gotten pretty good at eyeballing where the letters should go, so I didn't actually run into any trouble where I ran out of space or did some of the letters too big in this particular spread. The key to this type of font is to make sure that each of your lines is the same width across. So start small if you're a little bit worried about that because you can always make them bigger later. Also, make sure that your lines are straight, so use a ruler if needed, unless you, of course, you are doing a curved letter like you. Finally, it's time to add a mock shadow to each letter, which I will be using my black felt tip pen to draw lines going off of each letter on the right and lower sides specifically, and making sure that those lines as well are the same distance from the side of the letter each time. In that last bit of space on the bottom of the page, I'm just going to write the year, which is 2021, in the same gold paint pen and draw little lines extending off of each side for emphasis. Finally, I am also adding a little bit of highlights on the silver parts of the Mandalorian helmet with the gold paint pen because I just thought it would look cool. Then to fill up the remaining space like I usually do, I am adding dots of the gold paint pen and then with the black felt tip pen, I am drawing little stars around the page to really round it out and contribute to the space slash Star Wars theme. So once again, here is how the spread turned out. I hope that this video was helpful to you and gave you lots of inspiration. If you have any questions about anything in here or any video requests, please leave them down in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe.